This is a Sunday review from Dundalk. Yulong Beiju justified favouritism to come home a comfortable winner of the five fill and conditions race. The Eddie Lynham trained grey won a maiden here last season and she ran a decent race in a group three last time. Jockey Pat Smullen said it was like a piece of work for her and she has a nice career ahead of her as a sprinter. Yulong Beiju in the centre on the near side in Salutum as they begin the run now to the final furlong and Yulong Beiju, my good brother, Boxing on for pressure on the inside in Saludum is third, but it's Yulong Beiju, the long odds on favourite, and Pat Smullen in front as they run up towards the finish. Yulong Beiju is going to score by just about half a length or so, my good brother, second. Aiden O'Brien recorded his fourth win on the bounce in the penultimate race of the day with exciting prospect Giovanni Baldini. The two-year-old son of Warfront in the dark colours travelled really well before picking up nicely under Joseph O'Brien. He should come on well for that run. Atlantic Sea now from Giovanni Boldini coming through on the near side and as they race up towards the finish, Giovanni Boldini moves on a couple of lengths in front and wins on his debut here. Giovanni Boldini scores for Joseph. Jessica Harrington's Persian K. Leaf got off the mark on the third time of asking to take the six furlong maiden. The 10 to 1 shot in the beige and red colours made a promising debut when finishing fourth at Leopardstown before disappointing last time. He was returning from a short layoff of 67 days. Jockey Shane Foley said there was something amiss last time out, but freshened up, he's done it well. Palace on the near side and racing inside the last 200 yards now. It's Persian Caliph in front for Shane Foley from Lugano Palace on the near side. Joseph O'Brien as they go towards the line. Persian Caliph just holds off Lugano Palace. Mr. Good. And finally, Jim Bolger's consistent sort of star power in the purple and white recorded his third victory at Dundalk when landing the two-mile handicap in the hands of Kevin Manning. Court, racing on towards the final furlong now, star power, Carvelis, and on the inside, Passion Planet, Flight of the Saker, squeezed out, then comes Diala down the outside, Fairy Court, racing up towards the finish now, star power and Carvelis on the far side as they race up towards the finish, star power and Carvelis on the inside as they hit the line, star power and Kevin Manning, Carvelis, Shane Foley, cleared of that.